Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Uh, today I got this 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's got the V6 motor in it, as you can see. Uh, car lot dropped this by today, and the problem that they're having is that the blind spot detection is not working. Uh, so they were gonna replace the blind spot detection modules, but before they did that, uh, they wanted me to check it out. <clears throat> so uh, as you can see, they removed the bumper for me. Uh, to give me easy access uh, to the modules. Here's the left module over here and the right module over here. So let me uh, take you inside the vehicle, show you what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to communicate. Got the uh, blind spot detection left and right. We'll just pick one. And as you can see, we have no communication. Let's try the other one. No communication. <clears throat> uh, just to make sure that there's not a problem with my scan tool, I'm gonna try to communicate with, you know, something else. Let's just pick the smart key. As you can see, we're communicating here. I'm able to read codes. Uh, pick something else. Let's try the cluster. And it looks like we're communicating there. So uh, definitely a problem with uh, us not being able to communicate with these two modules. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull the wiring diagram uh, to get more familiar with the system and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I've got the wiring diagram pulled up over here. This is actually the wiring diagram for the power distribution. Uh, the reason I wanted to pull up the power distribution wiring diagram is because one of the first things I like to focus on whenever we have a module that's not communicating uh, is whether or not that module is even getting power. So, you know, the module, much like a computer, which is much like a computer at your house, you know, it, it's not going to turn on until you plug it into the wall to a power source. Same thing like this desktop that I'm looking at right now. Uh, it won't turn on unless we plug it into the wall and, you know, it's got a power source. So. That's the same thing we're looking at here. Uh, I located the blind spot detection modules here. So here's the left and here's the right. And uh, simply what we want to check for is the power distribution. So we want to see if these modules are actually getting power because it, as long as these things are getting power and also ground, which is another thing we're going to check, but as long as they're getting power and ground, then these modules should be powering up and we should be able to communicate with them. So that's going to be the first thing we want to check. If you look, uh, this brown wire is the power supply for both of the blind spot detection modules. So they actually both share the same power feed. Uh, there's a junction connector here and that power comes from the smart junction box. So uh, there's also a fuse here, a 10 amp fuse in the module, but this 10 amp fuse also feeds other things, many other things. It looks like the BCM, uh, AC control module, passenger, passenger door module. So, um, it's highly unlikely that we have a problem with this fuse because if we did we would also have communication issues with other modules so um, You know if we do have a problem in it, it may not be coming from there It may be coming from this junction connector or maybe there's a wiring issue Or maybe we have if we check here we have power then we need to go ahead and check the ground so uh, That's the first thing we're gonna do. Let's go to the uh, modules and let's check to see if we have power on these wires
All right, so I think I may have found the problem. Uh, I'm over here on the uh, sensor or the module that's on the driver's side. As you can see, I have my back probe on the brown wire, which is the power wire. <clears throat> and I've got my power probe here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there. All right, so if you can see, I have about 0.6 volts. Can you hold that for me, dude? And I found the harness right underneath here. And so I'm just gonna kind of wiggle the harness a little bit. And there's our power. I'm gonna let go of it. And we start to lose power. So our problem more than likely is in this connector right over here. You look underneath the bumper. There is a main connector for the wiring harness that leads to the two modules. And it's right down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and see what we find. All right, so I've got the harness unplugged here. Um, I don't see any corrosion or any bent pins. So I'm thinking that maybe the connector was just loose. I'm gonna go ahead and try to reattach it and uh, make sure that it's attached properly. And we'll go from there. All right, so I've got the harness secured properly. I made sure that the clip is fully engaged. It's got this kind of locking tab on there that flips over. Uh, just make sure that that thing's really engaged on there when you flip it to lock it down. And now I'm going to stick the power probe back in there and see if we have power. And as you can see, we have power. I'm going to try to wiggle the harness. Well, here, let me shut the noise off. I know it can be kind of annoying. Hopefully you can see the screen on there. All right, you can see we have about 11. 11 volts the battery's a little bit low but i'm going to try to wiggle this harness with my foot because <laughs> i'm holding the camera i'm just trying to wiggle it with my foot and uh we're not losing power so that's definitely a fix we're going to go ahead and try to program the sensors and uh ship the vehicle yeah all right guys so here's the moment of truth we're back in the vehicle i'm going to go ahead and try to communicate with the blind spot detection module and here we go we can go ahead and pull up information those codes are irrelevant because it had issues with the battery being low and with the power missing uh, on the module so we're gonna go ahead and clear all that out um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the program on these all right so I went ahead and did a full auto scan on all of the modules and uh, went ahead and clear all the codes the erroneous codes and here we have the blind spot detection on the left and on the right and we do have one fault code but that fault code is uh, for the calibration missing so we'll go ahead and show you that code really quick control module missing calibration so we're gonna go ahead and calibrate that right now uh, we're gonna go to special functions radar calibration it says here this function is to set the sensor after replacing the BSD radar sensor uh, calibration is running without coding device may take up to 30 seconds it will not allow to cancel the process press OK to proceed so we'll go ahead and hit OK turn the ignition off and then turn the ignition back on and then hit OK and coding has been complete We'll go ahead and do the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and do the right side now, which is this right here. Hit okay. Special functions, calibration. <clears throat> Gives us the same, the same spiel here. We'll hit okay. Ignition off. And then the ignition back on. Hit OK. Complete. All right. So now the vehicle just needs to be driven. And we're good to go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe this content may have helped you figure out what was wrong with your vehicle. If you were having the same problem, I hope this, vi this video helps you out. Uh, anyways, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to get to them. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.